Our planet's health is our health. We are all interconnected. The air we breathe, the water we drink and soil we harvest. The climate crisis is a health crisis and no one is safe. The World Health Organization calls climate change the single biggest health threat facing humanity. Low and middle income countries are especially at risk of climate change induced disasters. Due to weak infrastructure and poor access to high quality primary health care, LMICs face the dual challenges of the growing non-communicable diseases and global environmental change. Despite increased recognition of a need for action, there is limited evidence on cost-effective, sustainable and community-integrated interventions and inadequate research capacity to address these challenges. The NIHR Global Health Research Center for Non-Communicable Diseases and Environmental Change, a partnership between Imperial College London and the George Institute for Global Health India, will work to tackle the dual challenges of a rapidly growing burden on non-communicable diseases and the threat of global environmental change in Bangladesh, Indonesia and India to foster health equity, well-being and environmental sustainability through multi-sectoral interventions. In Bangladesh, storm surges caused by tropical cyclones have led to an increase in water salinity across the coastal belt. This has harmful health effects on local population including increased blood pressure, progressive kidney disease and gestational hypertension in pregnant women. আমাদের দক্ষিণ অঞ্চলটা সম্পূর্ণ লবণাক্ত পানিতে ভরা কারণ আমাদের এখানে টিউবওয়েল আছে দেখেন এই পানিটা সম্পূর্ণ লবণাক্ত পানি এটা আমরা খাওয়ার কোনো উপযোগী নয় আমরা হাটের হাটের বসে কিনতে বেদায় আপনার আল্লাহ তিন চার বছর আগে তারপর আমি ওই জানি নি তো জানতে পারি নি তারপর ডাক্তার এখানে গেলাম despite several solutions that are brought in the coastal areas people are still drinking high concentration salt water in their daily living. The center will work with the International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research Bangladesh to identify and test cost-effective sustainable solutions to reduce salinity in water supply in the districts of Khulna and Satkira. The unregulated burning of plastic waste in Indonesia releases harmful chemicals such as dioxins which pollute the environment and lead to negative health outcomes such as chronic lung and heart diseases and cancers. Indonesia menjadi negara tertinggi kelima kandungan dioksin dalam uh, telur ayam. Uh, 80 kali lipat dari standar yang dianjurkan oleh WHO. Almost half of Indonesian plastic waste, about 48%, is openly burned, especially in rural areas. Despite this, the potential human health effect of plastic burning in this country remain under study. Along with the University of Brawijaya, Indonesia, researchers will test a range of multi-sectoral interventions to reduce exposure to air pollutants caused by the burning of plastic waste in Malang district in East Java. In India, deteriorating dietary diversity conditions and malnutrition are among the leading cause of rapid growth of non-communicable diseases such as diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. The public food procurement system provides supplementary nutrition to millions of individuals. States have experimented with several interventions like diversifying the public distribution system, launching the millet mission in states, introducing nutrition gardens as part of supplementary feeding programs and others.
The Centre will systematically document and analyse public food procurement policies and identify environment-friendly interventions across the food supply chain. The idea is to diversify the food basket by co-designing an environmentally sustainable food systems intervention in discussion with the community and the policy makers and an intervention which will lead to NCD risk reduction. The NIHR Global Health Research Center for Non-Communicable Diseases and Environmental Change will engage patients, communities, including indigenous communities, and work to strengthen and support healthcare systems through a digital platform which will capture community environmental risks, behavioral risk factors, and disease management from the three countries. The center will also identify opportunities for strengthening impact outcomes, community engagement and involvement activities. The NIHR Global Health Research Center for NCDs and Environmental Change will benefit the most vulnerable and go a long way to contributing to improving planetary health.